Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Locopia. Today we're gonna continue building our city and in the last episode we fixed a lot of the issues that we had with the roads. As you can see not even remotely everything is perfect yet, but last episode I made this massive roundabout and I did not realize that I made one very obvious mistake. I did not actually make this a roundabout because it's not actually a one directional road. Uh, we got a ton of traffic lights in there and it's... It's the it's the, it's probably the dumbest thing I've done so far in this playthrough, but it's all fine because we are building this city together. You guys help me out uh, in these sort of scenarios. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna up upgrade the roads that we have right here. Um, as you can see, people are people are right now going in in both of the directions. We're gonna upgrade this. There we go. That should fix that should fix most of the issues that are going on over here. Now on top of that, I got a lot of suggestions of people mentioning that I should. Um, consider like, yeah, so right now everyone is only going, you know, that way around. Well, what? Wait, how are you guys going that way? I am not completely sure why the direction of these roads is, is messed up. I tried rebuilding the whole thing, but for some reason it automatically makes it like this. Parts of it is actually like, look, what, what, wait, what? You got, you guys come over here and then turn all the way back around? You know what? I'll just make the entire intersection once again, because for some reason... It's messed up right now. It's just not working properly. For some reason, uh, the direction is is wrong. For some reason, it's it's not working. So we're gonna we're gonna just recreate it real fast right here. Hope I'm not gonna break all my trees down though. That's sort of my main concern. All right, now we just need to connect those and actually do it properly this time, without making mistakes. At least I hope I don't make mistakes here. Ugh. Uh, it's hard to see actually. There is a, there is a little bit of a line. There we go. All right. So I hope the direction of the road is gonna be correct right now. Gonna be obviously deleting this middle bit because this one is pointless and my trees are there still. All right. And now we just need to make sure that these roads are connecting to this properly as well. Okay. I've deleted all the roads. Um, and let's just start with six lane ones as well. This is not gonna be, this is not gonna be like the one directional ones. Okay. Straight roads. Does it work? Okay, so this one is going in the correct direction. That one is going in the correct direction. And so is this. Woo! We got it to work properly right here. Now there's gonna be like no one going that direction, but that's fine. This will do great. This will do great. It seems to be a little bit crooked. My perfectionism right now is starting to kick in. I cannot... No! We're not gonna remake it again. This took way too long already for a roundabout. And it will do its job just fine. I think. I hope. Maybe. I really like the way this is looking right now though. Like this opening zone right here. It's really pretty. Maybe we should add some more trees in here. Should we add some more trees? Uh, why not? Trees are always good. There we go, a couple more, not too many. We don't want to have too many either. Not that that is really an issue if you have too many trees, but it's looking nice. This is looking really, really cool here as well. Uh, I had to put some extra roads to these uh, landfill sites because they weren't emptying anymore. Um, turns out, you know, there were no roads connecting to them, so they couldn't actually, uh, they couldn't actually be, uh, you know, you know. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Wow, people are actually sitting right next to that statue. That's so creepy. So the only issue that I have with this zone right here is that it's 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 functional and people are getting a little bit sick, but that's not that's not really my issue. Um, no, but it's just it just doesn't look very cool, you know. It it doesn't look like a farming district. So we may have to like not delete all of it, but we we may have to like reform a bunch of the things. I know there's people getting sick over here, so maybe we can like, you know, just zone away a bunch of this stuff and then remake a prettier place. Oh man, this may be a big mistake. This may be a big mistake, but here goes nothing. Be gone. Be gone, everyone. We don't want Joe here anymore. <laughs> All right, so step one. I removed most of the things that were in this area right here, and people aren't even that upset. What's this? A play park? Here. Guys, for all your troubles, you will get a play park. There you go. Look how happy everyone is. Uh, so I made a nice little area here at the very least that we can go ahead and use. Um, I relocated these power plants, which are obviously massive. And this is already this is already looking a little bit nicer, to be honest. We can maybe even use this like zone up there as well for some uh, for some of the same ideas. But what I'm gonna do 
Um, and I've relocated these roads, by the way, as well. You probably noticed that, though. <laughs> uh, but what I'm going to do is actually use these roads instead and make some uh, some nice paths. And I want these things to kind of look a little bit natural at the very least. At least somewhat. Yeah, I like this a lot right here. This is pretty cool. Going to make one more over here. And then I think I'm all done with this. Um, but I like that, that sort of like randomized pattern a lot better than what I was have previously. Even though I'm really not randomizing at all, I'm like constantly deleting and like <laughs> changing it up. But I think like once this is actual zoned in, it will look a lot more like an actual industrial zone, you know? Or like more of like a farmer district, I suppose. You can still see all these buses though. I wish we could just sort of bend them over here, but don't think we, uh, we are able to do that. But we can start zoning some of this in as well. But maybe I want to add some trees first. Hmm. Oh man, this is gonna look awesome when it's actually done. What are you guys doing? I'm just putting down some trees. Why are you guys dancing? Here, you want some trees? At least have some shade. What? <laughs> it's like a massive group of people just chilling here. There we go. That is awesome. That looks so much nice. Oh, I actually forgot one area. Oh, I'll put a couple here on each side as well. I've just been clicking a heck of a lot and trying to put them relatively close to the roads and every now and then we have a whole bunch of them together. Just so it looks a little bit more natural, you know? Cool. Okay, gonna be zoning in this a little bit differently. Still gonna obviously make this a district as well. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna raise the taxes here. On um, low density residential. And low density... Oh, no, no, no. Low density residential is up right there, and we're gonna do the same for the industry. Make sure there's a heavy traffic ban here as well. And a high rise ban too. You guys are gonna be recycling, there's gonna be parks and recreations, you can smoke weed over here. You can do everything you want. No free, free public, public transport though. Um, and you can learn about this as well. This is gonna be a really expensive zone to maintain, but we'll see exactly like what big of a difference it will actually make. And obviously, we also got to assign, assign this as an actual farming zone as well. So, there we go. Boom. Okay, now let's put a couple... A couple of things. Not too much. A couple of places where you can actually, um, you know, start putting in your farm. Obviously, we do need to make sure that we have electricity and stuff, but... Not like everywhere. Alright, that'll do. Let's see exactly what's gonna happen here. In the meantime, we're also gonna do the same thing up here, but then for foresting instead. And since this is a bit on a cliff already, I don't want to have the roads too, like, too close to it either. That'll do right there. Now we obviously need to, like, you know, make this a district as well. And we're gonna do the same ideas over there um, as we do in the, um, in the farmer's district. And we're gonna do some zoning in over here as well. Same idea here. Uh, so once again, couple of residential zones, every, you know, not everywhere, but at some places. There we go. And then for the most part, we are going to put a whole bunch of foresting in there, because this whole district is not that big to begin with. There we go. Just zone it in pretty much at most places, but not everywhere. I think one of the main mistakes I made uh, initially was that I, like, sort of zoned in everything, and it just sort of became a mess. Um, I like it a lot better if it's a little bit more up for grabs. Oh, you guys don't like that it's so expensive to live here? Fine. I'll be I'll be nice to you guys. You get all these benefits right here, right? You get all of these things. But you don't have to pay any extra taxes. Alright, I would live here. I would live here if I were you. It'd be amazing. Fine, you guys will probably then also not start off with any tax uh, tax increase either. There we go. Completely forgot about the fact that I had to put like crematoriums and like these things as well in there. There we go. As people get sick, we have no use for sick people. Fine. Even though no one is up here yet, you guys will also get one and also a crematorium. Um, I will probably need to make sure though that there's gonna be power over there because as it stands right now, there's nothing. I'll put some in the middle here. There we go. And now we're at it anyway. We may as well put a whole bunch of trees here in the middle because I like the way that looked. <laughs> now I obviously need to make sure there's gonna be roads leading towards this area as well. Um, and with roads I mean like the motorway. So we're gonna have to figure out 
a way to not just have an exit over here, but to have another one over here as well. Now, I tried doing this previously, but for some reason, the road really doesn't like going this direction. There we go. That works. Nice. I made it work. <laughs> Didn't even expect I would, but hey, nice. All right, so there's a lot of crime over here for some reason. No idea why. Is there no police here? Ooh, turns out there's a police department. Oh, there's actually a firehouse. Oh, there is no police department here nearby. No police department. Instantly, everyone becomes a criminal. There you go. There you go. You guys all need to be gone. The police is in town right now. They gotta try and stay there for a little while longer, but hey. Nice. Why are you guys sick? There's literally a medical clinic right there. Look, you guys should be alright. You can literally see the medical clinic right here. Oh well. It's alright then, guys. <clears throat> if anyone has any good recommendations of what I should do with this area right here, because we're starting to rework, obviously we've reworked the beginning of the city and we made this nice little beach and whatnot. If you guys have any great suggestions of what I should do over here, um, because I like it, but I'm not sure if I do really like it. If you have any good suggestions, let me know. No wonder this one is not emptying. There's literally a cemetery right there, but there's no road leading to it. That's a bit of an issue when you're trying to, like, empty things. There we go. This should... <laughs> that should help. Now you guys can actually finally go home after being stuck in there for years. Congratulations. I don't really know why they're putting this yellow stuff out there. I mean, what is that? Why is, why is it randomly yellow on the ground? I mean... Don't really know if there's a good reasoning for it. Alright, instead of making any more of those, like, sort of things, I figured why not actually just clean up two of those, like, lanes that we created earlier. We may even... Well, let's clean up this one here in the end as well. And I put some more trees in there. Just, you know, just so it will look better, really. I should really get, like, something that clicks faster for me. <laughs> I've been clicking so much this episode, there's no way it's gonna be healthy for my wrists. But it's for the greater good. Everything will look pretty in the end, right? In the end, it doesn't really matter. This is looking so nice right now, though. Look at this. This is the foresting area that we created earlier. It's actually looking really nice. I like this a lot better than, like, the completely, like, filled-in spaces. Look, there's, there's even some, like, plank production going on and all that. If you take a quick look at the farms, though, which are right over here on the low ground... It's looking so pretty as well. Very, very cool. Much better than what we had here previously. The only thing um, that's bothering me a little bit is this pinkish stuff, which comes from the industry, but don't know if I can fix that with anything. It's really, really pinkish. There's one lucky tree, apparently, that managed to survive the cut. Looking so much better than it, was, than it did previously. So yeah, that is gonna be pretty much it. Now, even though we're not making, like, the biggest amount of progress and we aren't having, like, a million, like, inhabitants and all that, we are still making some really, really cool places. So I hope you guys are still enjoying this series. Once again, if you have a good suggestion of what I should be doing over in this area, let me know with a comment right below the like button below because I don't really know exactly what to do. Other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!